Well, what, 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 you know, what would you know? Uh, look at my hard drive. It's out of my computer. I'm doing diagnostics because I think I lost my operating system. It said bootloader not found. Okay, I got my system reserve and my local disk. Let's see what the hell's going on here. I don't know where my bootloader is. The device is ready to use. I don't know. Actually, I'm just going to try receiving the hard drive and see if that works. Because I do turn it off every time the stupid thing is ready to update. But, you know what? We're, you know, we're going to try this again before we uh, jump to conclusions and, and, and start backing stuff up. Because I never even backed it up. I said I was going to back it up. But I didn't back it up yet. But I can do it from here. Uh, wow. That's crazy. <clears throat> yeah, let's see what we can do first. Actually, what I might do, I don't even know what I'm going to do. Let's just see if it works first uh, through this computer. Comes to find out, I, uh, the SATA cord was out. I don't know how that happened. I just put it back in, and the SATA cord was out. And sorry for all my previous videos that look dark. That's because I forgot I had a light on this camera. So we're going to go turn the monitor on, which the button is, I mean, turn the computer on. Oh. That main power. I think that's. I really think that's on. I'm not sure. Okay, we ain't got no smoke. That's good. This would be tech failure number two because it was a failure that I recovered from. From something that was like very simple. I, I hope this is what it was. Oh no, you're kidding me. Before it was telling me that the... Yeah, it's telling me boot manager is missing, so it's detecting the hard drive and... You gotta be kidding me. I was just on this computer about 24 hours ago. Oh no. Oh, shit. Okay, this is a tech failure that I did not recover from. I have to reinstall Windows 7 and turn off all the damn updates. Oh man, this is gonna be some some video to upload. Okay, Windows is claiming that it fixed the errors. It said to start to restart immediately, click finish. If repairs were successful, Windows will start correctly. If repairs were not successful, Windows repair might run again to continue fixing your you know. Alright, so let's hit finish. Let's hit, okay. It's gonna restart. So I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm gonna just let it boot. I hope it's fixed because I lost my boot manager. And I now I gotta let all 1,000 updates install if I can even get into my hard drive. <sighs> Let's see. Am I zoomed in? No, do not select that. Holy crap. I was just... Alright, I learned my lesson. As soon as I get this computer up and running... Oh, man, did you see that? Oh, man. I'm not sure if you saw the previous video, but it wouldn't boot up. I had a bad boot. Oh, yeah, you, you know, I had a bad boot. Oh, man. I thought I lost everything. Because, you know, when you go into the Windows files... Yeah, you know what? See, I never let it do this. Um, I never let, let it check for errors. Always just hit skip, skip, skip. Because I thought the computer was wrong. But I guess the computer is always right. We're going to let it do this this, this scan. Okay? Because I will always let it skip this part. But if it comes up, i got to let it go. I'm just going to try to see if I can keep my updates installing. Because once you keep torturing them to install, then they'll go. But it just takes forever. So we're going to let... Let it scan all the sectors and stuff like that. Scan the sectors for errors. And we'll be on our way. There it is. It's back up and running again. Oh, let's see if I can log in and see what I lost or what, you know. Just to see what Windows has um, taken away from me while trying to give me something back. Because that's what Microsoft does. They take away something from you, like a large sum of money, so you can get something like Word or this operating system which they called Windows XP that has I mean Windows 7 which has 
2 million updates just like all the other ones. Okay, everything's still working. I got my Uvu back. I got all my icons. Things are booting up as if nothing ever happened. So that was pretty good. Okay. And you know what? As soon as the operating system started working, the disc player started working. I couldn't even get the disc player open. Now the operating system's working. You know. And I press this button. Now it comes out. Because I know when I installed it, it's a little bit off track. As you can see, I didn't only put one screw in there. Number one, I was in a rush to put the darn thing in. And number two, I just, um, I couldn't really get it leveled. I couldn't really get it in. So I was just, just rushing. So actually, I'm going to put another screw right there. Oh, I love that light. Put another screw right there. And then the tray should open properly next time. And if you can look inside the tray... You can tell it's pretty dusty and it's pretty dirty because it's from like two. It's like from 2005. That's when this this DVD player came out, and you know it's from my old XP system. It's from my Dell, but she works like a champ, and she's dusty, but yet she still keeps reading. So you can always cut corners and save money by using your old hardware. Oh, check that out! My fan fell. Ouch! Well, everything's working, so I'm just gonna get the system back to where it was and. Put the cover back on and we'll be on our way.